this that I'm making today are two carrier bags for laptops. They, can you see those two? One there and one there. Um, so I'm making two and hopefully those little pockets there uh, will have zip on it as usual. But I've been more, a bit more accurate today where on the others I did draw the lines of where they're going to start and stop. And I have pinched it at the side here. If I haven't, I will do to say where the center is. Um, and I've drawn the box here where I'm going to sew with the zip to attach. But uh, on this box here. Um, and once again, I, I was lazy. So instead of putting all pieces... So that's going to fold up under and that's going to fold up one side and that's going to fold up there that's going to fold up there that will give me a box to put things in uh, and what i've done is i've got one little small strap in the bit so i can carry it as a, a kind of a handbag and i've got a very long one going along so that when I'm carrying all the other machines, uh, I can put it over the shoulder and struggle to carry all three of them. Oh, I forgot. I made another one here. Um, yes. And there's the other one for another large machine. So it's one, two, three, four, five machines. Right. Oh, this one as well. Oh my gosh, I, I forgot. This is really padded out. So this one now I'm going to pad it out. It is a shame that I didn't pad those ones, but it just takes a lot longer. Um, and I don't need to be pedantic about all this. I just need to be able to get it into where I'm going. Uh, all right. That's it. I'll show you the next step later. And I wasn't even, yes, I'm filming. So I've already shown you this one. I didn't bother to show you this one, but I made that one. It's another bag for a larger computer as well. But now at the moment, I'm cutting out uh, another small case. So you can see I've got a computer laptop on top there. That's not working, as I explained earlier on. That's going to go on top, piggy bag, and then this is going to go on top, behind piggy bag as well. And I'm going to put um, a strap on it to take the weight for easy access. The only thing I haven't put or made room for was the mouse. Uh, so I can't be bothered right now. I think it by the time you move this over, the mouse might be able to fit. It's right there. And that's another thing. This is going to be in center. With this one, this computer, the keyboard is broken. It's a Dell computer, but it's still good and it works perfectly fine. So what I have to do is use an outside keyboard to keep continue using this um laptop now it's old-fashioned but there's nothing wrong with it it still works so i maintain using old for new um but now you see it on top i'm going to make an outside one so this goes on the outside so when it's traveling i haven't got any um wadding but i am going to use insulation for, uh, fabric and i'm going to pad it out with that just to cushion the blow and put some strap on it so this is an easy make i'm going to curve off the edges for the sake of the zip right so here we go oh i think i'm going to line this one as well 
because of the interlining. So I'm in my workroom now and I've added the lining, interlining and interlining again to give it a bit of thickness because I, as I said before, I don't have any wadding. So that will do. So I'm, I can't pin it down, would you believe it? Because the pin won't go through the leather. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch it all the way around to keep it still. And then I'm going to overlock the edges. I'm just trying to be a bit more patient instead of for speed and tidy this one up. And as you can see, I've drawn some lines there. And that's where I'm going to put the bands, the belt. So I thought, you know what? I need to hold all this fabric down. So I thought, you know what? Let me use the belt to hold it down. So that's what I've done. Hold it down. Found the center. Oh, let me fold it up. So now I'm going to sew this one up, but I was just thinking, do I really need to cushion this one? Yes, I do, but where the keyboard is, because that is the problem in the first place. That um, one of the keys are missing, so I can't use the E on it. So let me put something to cushion it out. Not much. Now, that's the section now for the keyboard. Um, the zip is in. And now I'm going to flip it inside out. And what did I do with the... Oh, there it is. And then I'm going to stitch it and secure it to the bag on the outside. And then on the flip side, this is still open. So I can stitch it nice and flat, secure it onto the strap, which is the strongest part. And I'll do the same for the um, the case, another case that's going on top at the back. With the bag completely open, I put two on it. With it completely open, I now stitch the zip going on halfway around um, because it's leather close to the edge and now I'm going to have to put the camera down because I need to turn this to go around the corner but that's what I'm doing hello I'm in my workroom and today I've started to make the bags for the laptops and what I started off with first is the box which goes on top to put uh, my machine inside of it so as you can see here I've put the zip on I've made the box and guess what I'm actually focusing now to make it symmetrical and tidy so there it is mitered corner first and there's the inside of the box. Uh, I think I took a picture of it before I stitched it up. But that's what it looks like. And this one. What I'm doing is using up all the old fabric in my workroom, to be honest. Um, got nothing else to do, have I? No, of course I have. I've got an exhibition I've got to attend to this Saturday. So I need something to carry the... Um, computers in. So I've got five computers to carry around, so here they are. What is done here is that I now stitch the best bit on. There's the two zip. I've disconnected them, measured out the distance, so it was easy to sew this bit 
found the bottom, so that was great. Got a nice straight line for a change. Um, and now I'm going to zip it back up and then top stitch the outer part. I could attempt to stitch it all the way down, but I think that's going to be difficult. So I'll go the long way around. What is done here is that I now stitched the this bit on. There's the two zip. I've disconnected them, measured out the distance, so it was easy to show, sew this bit down the bottom. So that was great. Got a nice straight line for a change. Um, and now I'm going to zip it back up and then top stitch the outer part. I could attempt to stitch it all the way down but I think that's going to be difficult so I'll go the wrong way around. Now I have put the box back in place, the zip is back on, it's closed up except for the side and now I'm going to fold this under and top stitch it and then you will see the stitching on the outside on both sides. And then I'm going to secure this so that um, the zip never comes off here. And you know when you see a triangle at the end of a zip, that's what I might put on. There we go. This time I've decided to put the zip on first. So here we are at the top of the bag. I've turned it upside down. I've already put the zip on there. I've fastened it up further up. And then I'm going to put an either an arrow or something. But I'll show you later. So I'm putting it on the line that I'm doing. And I'm going to sew it and then flip it over. And then maybe do the same for the bottom. And at the side, at the side, I will do um, top stitching to close it up. Now don't forget, this is an industrial machine, so this foot goes up higher than the other one that I've got down behind me. Um, so it takes thicker fabric. So you can see now, I'm going to tuck this under, and I'm going to top stitch it. That's how I'm going to finish it off. Now, now I'm going to fold the whole thing up and stitch it inside up to around here so that this section here will stop the zip from coming right off and I can leave that because it won't be able to pass it and then it's then it's finished and then I'll go back and stitch the zip on the other side and then it's finished right or I could do the zip first now nah. I fold it in half and do that. As you can see, I fold the bag in half, so I thought I'd show you first. And then I will stitch probably up to there and stop. And can you see I've left enough room so I can stitch the zip on. So this, all this is hidden. So there's no way. So by the time I put the uh, zip bit down, this will stop it from coming right off. Um, and I've always put two zips on it, so it gives me the chunk option. And when one breaks off, I've got Now I am going back to it here and making sure that I catch the fabric and stitch all the way around. And then I've finished. Oh, how am I going to get back into it? I've got two, oh, oh, yeah, I've got two zips here, one there and one there. And by the time I rip this open, I'll get into it and turn the bag inside out. And then it's finished. I've got the other one to finish. I have made some carrier bags and not just ordinary carrier bags. Uh, I have made bags to carry my computer around. Now I, I'm doing seminars and exhibitions lately. Uh, so um, I've carried quite a lot of stuff around. It's getting heavy. I bought a trolley, but it's a, it's not uh, convenient to use a trolley going back and forward. So what I've done is out of leather, I've been given a lot of leather fabric. So I made all this. 
it took me two days to make these bags so here are large computers right inside them already let me see where's the opening i'll just give you show you that they are computers inside computers the computer plus this uh the keyboards plus the leads plus my package um and nothing else because i don't want to make it too heavy so there's two large computers and down here we have um laptops so we've got laptop here so what i've done with this now is that i've made given it four handles right so if i'm carrying it on its own and i go to a customer then i'll just carry it like that just one at a time but when my helpers don't come on time and believe you my helpers are my children actually um then i start getting everything inside before they come so what i did for my convenience because um they're the ones who's going to be running these packages so when i'm going inside i've got two here and i'm not going to pick those two up and then i can carry this and lugger lugger as they say carry them nicely into the um into the venue right so that's that um then so that's one two three four five here's the here's the a slightly bigger laptop right this laptop now is a, is a dell laptop and it's slightly heavier as well um now i didn't think about making it long enough but this can go over my shoulder anyway so what happened with this computer the key number e is not working try to get it fixed can't get it fixed anybody knows how to fix it let me know um so i had to use an external key keyboard so i had to make a comp compartment for it as well comp uh, there and inside it the, the package goes here zip all over the place so i can either carry these three in and wait for my children to come and get those or continue and carry those one by one so here we go so that's that and it's very simple oh by the way i should show you no i show you on the making of it these ones down the bottom are interline with um i forgot what rate grade the fabric is but it's interline and line in the inside you see that on the making but on this one i couldn't be bothered um it's just a matter of getting them in and out and giving it a safe journey but later on what i will do is at the bottom of these two i will cushion it out with um some foam so that when i'm driving it would have suspension as it drives so as you can see i've made these and these cushions that you see i made them as well because i've got lots more of the leather around oh yeah but lots more um so i'll be making more stuff and as i add on and get more stuff with um this company i will make more bags and grow this business so thank you for watching um i do apologize if i've missed anything but you know you've got my phone number you've got my email you know you could always talk to me i've talked to many of you over the years and i enjoy talking to you and i know you enjoy talking to me as well so thank you for watching um and please give me a thumb up uh give me a like up and um please comment uh, good or bad i don't mind i can take it all right all i have to do when it's bad is just rectify what you said and make it better right so see with me and thank you for watching Bye.